and deal with the issues we've got here. So you see we've got 190 packages here. Now um, there is a chance that this may fail halfway through. Um, I've found in the past when you're updating um, I don't know what the reason is, it will fail but you just rerun it and things get installed in different order. It's almost like the merge fails either because there's so many packages here to calculate dependencies on or I, I, I don't really know. Um, but there is a chance it may fail. Um, if that's the case, as I say, just rerun it and um, it just it just all works, it seems. So this may take a few hours or it may fail immediately, but um, I'll get the updates going. And this, remember, is for the packages that are currently installed and the, and the um, packages in the system um, set as well. So this is roughly why we've got about 200. So let's begin. Right, so that looks like it finished with finish. Oh yeah, it failed. Um, right, not sure why that failed. Let's have a look at these messages here. So is there anything important? Right, hash minus R we should run it says here. We've got a new core utils. What else have we got? Pam. We need to reboot the system. We'll be doing that sometime anyway. Last or missing dependencies.
safe. It's actually provided me with a log, the looks of it, for that failure, as far as I can see. Just don't continue pressure manual, you skip first. Okay, well what I'm going to do is very near the end it got uh, 30 odd left to do so let's retry this and see how far we can get now. Okay that markup safe there so it might fail again possibly. So. Let's see how far we get this time. I've got to keep going, so maybe it decided, I don't know why it decided it couldn't keep going. Um, being as it's reordered these um, installation packages um, it's down here now. So, oh, hang on, on one, one, it's, it's actually installed it. Oh, it's because the use has changed, that's why. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Let's restart it. Right, that's failed again, but, looks, but as you saw that um, previous package that failed, actually got through, oh, no, it didn't fail, it did complete, sorry, I wasn't watching it. Um, yeah, that um, markup safe that failed previously um, actually got through, so I, I'm not sure why that happens. I'm not, I, I do wonder sometime if it's because a library's in use, it's in memory, while the update's going on, the update stops, the library drops out of memory, and then when the update starts, it loads up the newly um, compiled library. That's the only thing I can think of, really, um, why it does happen. So let's just have a look at these outputs. It says to restart UDEV. Okay. So that is it. Um, so in theory, just to run that again, there shouldn't be any updates at all. No, so I guess I could. Um, I could run these, I suppose I really should. Do merge, preserve, rebuild. Um, Let's see if I can do a depth clean first of all to get rid of anything that's unneeded now at this point. So yeah, these are all the other packages that I couldn't get rid of before that were due to all the use flags that have been set. So I'm actually just going to see how many oops, there are of these. Yeah, that brings the number of packages right down to 258. So I'm going to take this option before I start bringing back some of the packages. Um, set that. And give this a few more minutes to complete. Okay, they have all been removed. Let's just check the messages again. Uh, okay, maybe we shouldn't delete that other kernel sources, the other one, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. 
Kashmir KD plus J7. Okay. Um, so let's do an update again. We should come back with nothing. That's good. And yeah, I guess that's just about clean then. <laughs> 